Hello my friends. In this video, we're going to try to fix a little bug that Microsoft all gave us when you're trying to check for updates and you get this error encountered message. What is this all about? Well, what it is, is Windows has an RE, the recovery environment partition on our desk. And if I go to computer management here, or sorry, disk management here, you'll see that we have a partition over here. It's 499 meg. That's the problem. It's not big enough for the update to fill up. So what they have to do, we have to expand that drive. Okay. So the first thing you would do is go into your command prompt. You got to run it as administrator. All right. And then we'll get our window out of the way here because I have a notepad on the right hand side. All of this will be in the description below. So don't worry about this. You can do the same thing, copy and paste. First thing we're gonna do is look at the RE agent C and see what information is in there. Right now, the Windows RE location is right here on partition three recovery windows RE, right? Same one as this right here. Okay, perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is I gotta disable that RE agent C. So we're going to disable it first. I'll just copy this command over here, the copy and paste, and that'll disable it so we can do all of our work and then we'll re enable it after we're all finished. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is go into what's a program called Disk Part. Disk Part's a Windows program for managing uh, disks and it's an old school utility, but okay. So we're in Disk Part. Sorry, I digress. Next, we're going to do a list disk and this is just going to list all the disks that are in this machine. Okay, on this virtual machine, I only have one disk. It's a 64 gig hard drive. So next I want to do, I want to select that disk. So I'm going to come in here and paste select disk. And we need to change your number, whichever disk yours is. Mine's disk zero, so I'm going to select disk zero. So, okay, good. Now we're selected there. Next, I want to list all the partitions that are in this disk since I've selected it, okay? So we'll paste select disk. There you go. I have three partitions, one, two, and three. The one we're going to be working on right now is partition two, the 63 gig hard drive. Okay, so first I want to do is I want to select that partition. So you type in select part it's right here. So I'll change my number to partition two right there. Because if you look up there, select partition two, that's the one my OS is on. So I'll hit enter here. Partition two is now selected. Good deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit select, or sorry, I'm going to hit list partition here. There we go. And in the list partition, you'll see that the asterisk by it says that I am on that one and I'm working on that one right now. Next command that we want to do is we want to shrink this partition down 250 megs, just 250 megs, not a whole bunch. All right. Now that we've got it all shrunk down, you can look in here in the disk management. You can see both of them are there now. So we, we want to get rid of the recovery partition. So I'm going to come in here and say list partition. And I'm going to paste this in here right here. Okay. So partition two right now, we are on partition two because the asterisk, but I want to select partition three. So I'm going to come over and copy this, select part. Mine is three. So I'm just going to put the number three in here and hit enter. Now it says it's selected. We're going to go ahead and do another safeguard, say list partition, just to make sure the asterisk is by partition number three. And there it is. It's the recovery partition. Now we're going to delete it. All right. So we're going to copy this over here. Delete partition override just tells us to do it. Force it in there. There we go. Partition is now gone. Now we're going to select list disk and copy and paste that in here. Note on this. If you see underneath the GPT column, you have a, an asterisk underneath the GPT column. You have a GPT disk. I'll have another video how to do this one. Same steps. It's just different command. Next one we're going to do is create partition primary. That's basically going to create a partition of the one we just created. Okay. So there you go. Next, I want to list the partition so I can see it listed. So I'm just going to paste list partition in here. There you go. Partition three primary 750 meg. That's the one we just made. Okay. You're going to get a little window pop up. Just cancel out that. We're going to go ahead and do it manually. We're going to format the drive because if you look right here, it says raw. We need to format this drive to make it usable, right? So next we're going to do format the hard drive, sorry, format the partition that we just put in here. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste this into the format it, hit enter, confirm we're on partition three and we are. So we're going to hit enter here and there we go. We're good to go. Next step we need to do, we need to set an ID for her. Now, if you go back here, you'll notice that it now says windows RE tool. So we're good to go. Next, we're going to set the ID of this to 27 and what this does it tells windows when we turn that re agent back on this is the disk that i'm going to put all my files on okay there you go created it so now if you look over here you'll see that's got a healthy recovery partition great now last thing i want to do is do a detailed partition just to confirm that the id is still 27 it should be there it shouldn't have changed hit enter there 
And there you go, we're at 27. Perfect. All right, now, one couple more steps and we'll be done. We're gonna do a list volume here. Okay, so let me go ahead and select list volume over here on the right hand side. This is just gonna be a confirmation to make sure it's all correct. And there it is, volume four, Windows RE, healthy and ready to go. Great, okay, so we're done in disk part. So now we're gonna exit out of here. And then we're gonna get back in to the command prompt and we're gonna do the R agent C enable, R E agent C enable. I'm gonna copy that, paste her in right here. And now we're gonna, it's gonna be re-enabled. And just to confirm, we're gonna go to re-agent C info. I'm gonna copy this over, paste it in, and let's see what she says. There it is, Windows RE location, perfect. We got it set exactly what we want, partition three, recover Windows RE, good deal. Look over here, that's the partition we just created. Now the Windows RE is writing to that partition. All right, last thing we gotta do is check for updates. Fingers crossed on this one. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna hit retry. It's gonna go down and download everything like it's supposed to, and we will see. There you go, looks like it's working. Hey guys, this is a brand new channel. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. Appreciate all your help on that. And looks like we are good to go. Have a good one.